I feel a great disturbance in the force, as if thousands are crying out for Sunward hobbies to carry Star Wars kits, and they were suddenly silenced. Probably because we now carry this kit. MPC's 172nd scale Millennium Falcon. So stay tuned as this scruffy looking Nerf herder is gonna unbox this kit just for you. And here I present to you the fastest ship in the galaxy. The only ship that could complete the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. And it is all packaged in this very big box. Boasting that when completed, it'll be over 18 inches long. Wouldn't that be nice? Anyway, this particular kit was first molded in 1979, basically when the movies were out. And this particular boxing is a recent uh, retooling of it. They say they've added some newer parts to make the ship more authentic, but we will determine that in a moment. So now let's take a look inside. It's a very compressed box. First thing you see, they uh, protect your sprues with this hefty piece of cardboard. And you can tell right away that this is old plastic sprues. I already can see some intense flash here. You, this is going to require a lot of cleanup. So anyway, this looks to be pieces of the exterior as well as the pilot and co-pilot seats. And by the way, this is a fictional aircraft with all kinds of, I don't know what you call them, panels, controls, things that I have no idea what they would all do, but I'm sure there's some Star Wars fan blog out there that knows what every single one does. So please feel free to correct me. Like I said, lots of detail with wires and controls that I know nothing about. This looks like um, perhaps the, the turret housing for the blasters here. The, the Falcon had two turrets, one on the top and one on the bottom. There's the canopy frame. Uh, here's a fun fact that I like to point out. Uh, if you're an aircraft enthusiast, you'd probably recognize this style of canopy. It was, of course, in influenced by the real-life B-29 Super Fortress. This is a weird sprue. Like it was cut in half. I must say, for an older kit, the raised detail here is pretty good. This 
This would probably be the turret housing for the opposite end. Also featuring the guns, or blasters, excuse me. More detail, uh, which I believe is on the side of the aircraft. I don't know at this point, I'm just showing you the parts. I don't know what they do. Next bag. This is definitely part of the, uh, well, I don't know if it would be called engine exhaust in space, but uh, definitely where the power of the aircraft jettisons out. And this would have to be the radar dish. This is more of the side detail. No idea what this is. Sorry. And here, most likely more side detail. Now here's where it gets interesting. You get Chewbacca and Han Solo. Both their arms are over here. Make sure not to mix up their arms. They did say that uh, making a Wookiee upset uh, could risk you getting your arms pulled off. This would be the clear parts, the main canopy. I, I believe that's the door to access the cockpit on the inside. And these should be the turret uh, canopies. This would definitely be the propulsion. They have molded it in a clear blue plastic to simulate the effect of space exhaust. That's interesting. And finally, something I do recognize the main body. And like they boast on the cover, it is quite large. There's your legal. So that would be the bottom half. Detail is, like I mentioned, pretty good. And the top half. This, uh, of course, would be the interior walkways where everyone gets to their positions. This leads to the cockpit. Looks pretty good. We'll get to the instructions in a moment. And 
And this would be the decal sheet. Usually Star Wars kits have stickers, but this is a real man's kit and we use decals. So that would go on the bulkhead of the cockpit, just behind the pilots. And the rest is pretty much just stenciling for the exterior. But really you could just paint most of this yourself. But whatever, it's your preference. This here, if I can get it out, is basically the call outs for the decals and the paint. tell you what to paint on and Chewbacca I don't see anywhere on here what paints they tell you to use for the ship itself but that's probably going to be in the instructions Little side note, some stills from A New Hope. That is the special edition, not the original. instructions. Basically just uh, what you need to do before you start. Make sure you have the proper tools and glue and paint. First step. Um, this is new to me. You have to actually insert the locating pins when normally kits just have them molded in there for you, but okay. You're just inserting exterior details from the inside. Then you move on to the front landing gear leg, which is just a skid. There's no wheels. Since uh, everything in Star Wars just hovers. And then the rear landing gear okay so those big boxes were just where you insert the gear legs and then you assemble the blaster turrets and I believe as long as you don't use glue these can be spinnable then you assemble and paint Han and Chewie and place them in the cockpit and the canopy over top. And then the landing ramp which uh, if you're a real stickler for detail you're probably better off to just leave this uh, in the stowed position as I'm pretty sure if you look up inside, you won't see any detail. But if you're a real skilled modeler, you probably could scratch build the interior by yourself. And this is installing all the side panels. plus uh, inserts on the top half. You install the radar dish, bring the two halves together, insert
insert the docking ring and uh, finish off installing the cockpit to the main fuselage. And that's it. And for a pretty big kit, it's not too complex. Not that many steps. So even if you're not a seasoned modeler, this shouldn't be too hard for you. In conclusion, if you are a Star Wars fan, you're gonna love this. If you are a Star Trek fan, probably not. But if you are a modeler with no particular allegiance, then this will make a very nice build. It is the largest scale Millennium Falcon that you can get. And despite its age, it should make for quite a good build. And you can pick one up for yourself today at Sunward Hobbies, in store or online. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and until the next one, live long and pros- I mean, may the force be with you.